So I know this video is coming out just a little bit late and I apologize on that because I planned on making this video way back last week on Tuesday so I can kind of be hype with everybody who ended up getting their light novels on the release day of August 23rd but some things happened I ended up getting my volume just a little bit late but it's okay of course. I actually found out that some people ended up getting their volumes a week earlier than the 23rd date. They ended up getting it on August 16th for folks who ended up pre-ordering it on Right Stuff Anime which is really really cool for those people who pre-ordered it on there. And yeah, I wanted to show you all my eighth volume of the Bunny Girl Senpai series' light novel. So Rasko does not dream of a sister venturing out. So centering around uh, Kaide, of course, that you can see here. Looks really, really nice. You see the cover right here. I'll show you guys the backside cover with the chibi Kaide. Looks cute. Um, and yeah, of course, a lot of people know that this is the actual uh, Bunny Girl Senpai content that takes place after the Dreaming Girl movie. So this is super exciting stuff that we haven't seen before for English readers, which is amazing. And I'm super giddy about it. I'm a little sad that I haven't been able to actually dive into it and read it yet. But of course, you know, I'm trying to be patient. You know, I wanted to get this video out to you guys before I ended up doing that and then giving my thoughts out on it and everything. Uh, but yeah, it's super cool. I can't wait to actually read it. Um, like I said, I keep saying that just because it doesn't feel real because I've been making videos about Bunny Girl Senpai and its light novels since the get-go, since volume one actually came out, which was a long time ago. So I actually almost forgot to throw this piece in. I usually like to show you guys and gals just a little bit of a sneak peek at the art pages that are usually found within the beginning portions of the light novel. It has some nice, beautiful art usually, and as well as has little verbiage pieces and gives us a little bit more insight as to, you know, what's going on with some of the characters and stuff. Like right here, they give little descriptions of Sakata and then of my Sakurajima. They have a cute little picture over here of Nasuno, the little kitty that Sakata and Kaide own. And then uh, they have the little piece of verbiage right here too it says after lots of tears and lots of help normal life has returned as the third term begins everyone has to choose a future so you know hinting and hinting more so as uh you know time goes on and these characters are getting older and stuff and they're kind of moving towards that adult life and you know they're gonna have to you know choose a future choose what their kind of path is gonna be career wise or you know college wise things like that so it's crazy that these characters are getting older i know my saga regime was kind of at this point in the story very very close to the end of her third year at minigahara high so she's going to be going to university very very soon you know it's going to be a big shift in the way that the story is kind of handled with uh, bunny girl senpai and i'm definitely interested to see how that kind of turns out um but yeah like let me go ahead and show you guys this other portion of it too since you know that other picture was really really nice looked a little different but still uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys this. So some new pictures of Kaide, new visuals here. So she does look a little bit different. She looks a bit more old here. Uh, and there's cute little kitty Nasuno again, kind of cuddling up to her. Uh, and there's some verbiage up here too. It says, and his sister Kaide steals herself to take a big step into the future. Uh, but yeah, and then she does look a little bit different too with her new hairstyle. Um, and there's some more verbiage down here too, where it says she had spent a long time at home alone and now she's braving the world outside again, uh, wearing the coat that Mai had given her to the nurse's office at school. So that's really, really cool. Mai gave her that uh, coat there and now she's kind of wearing it as she's getting a little bit older and, you know, almost heading into that high school life and everything. I believe she's not in high school just yet, or maybe she is. I can't remember kind of timeline wise as to that. Uh, but here's, of course, course, my Sakurajima, amazing art and stuff here. It says, even as Mai's time with Sakata at school uh, draws to a close, there are moments of joy to be found. You know, she's at the very end of her third year at Minagahara High, but still, they got some time left together to kind of make some memories and have some fun times and, you know, overcome some obstacles potentially with the story and everything. Uh, so that'll be really cool to find out what that's going to be like. But definitely, like I said, once that does change and she goes to university, it's going to be a bit of a shift to see kind of how the dynamic is between Sakata and Mai because they're not going to be even together at school anymore. She's already been busy, you know, with her actress jobs and stuff like that that she has going on. But now she's not even going to be at school with Sakata where she usually does see him on a consistent basis. Um, so that's going to be different. Uh, but yeah, still super cool. I uh, wanted to kind of make this video, like I said, showing you all the volume eight, super big moment for Bunny Girl Senpai fans to be able to kind of dive into this stuff. And at the same time too, I wanted to clear something up a little bit too, regarding the eighth light novel and regarding a potential season two for the Bunny Girl Senpai series, because I saw some things going around online, people talking about, you know, Bunny Girl Senpai season two has been confirmed potentially and things of that nature when that's actually not actually the case. So in 
in this light novel here, it says at the very end of it, there's a little passage at the end that's an afterword that usually the actual author, you know, writes a little nice message saying like, thank you for reading this light novel. Um, you know, I hope you read future light novels and things like that. Look forward to the future ones. In this one, it actually says new plots are going um, in the anime production is moving and then look forward to new volumes and more news. People saw that message and they were like, oh, season two's in production. It's actually, you know, like it's been confirmed, things like that. And I was freaking out too, because I was like, oh, that's super duper cool. You know, like, like I thought it was really weird that they did it in this way, but I thought it was really cool because, you know, they announced it through like a light novel and not through like Twitter or a news media outlet or, you know, an event or something like that. Um, yeah, I thought that was super cool that they did it that way. But then at the same time, I was like, it just didn't make sense because there's only four volumes out after the movie. I was like, there's nothing for it on Twitter. I didn't find anything on it on Twitter. No media news outlets for anime had said anything, you know, no credible ones were. And then at the same time too, it just dawned on me, it made total sense. Cause you know, this is the eighth light novel in the English version of it. Everything that's, you know, coming from this Japanese version one is going into this one just being translated. So whatever's in here was in here in this volume. I was like, I guarantee you that this came out around the time that season one came out of the anime. And if you know, uh, season one of the anime came out in October of 2018. And lo and behold, when I looked it up, this came out in 2018 in April of that year. So about like six months before that. So when this volume says the anime production is moving, it means the anime production was moving for season one of the Bunny Girl Senpai anime when it came out, because this actually came out, you know, in 2018. I'm not trying to be a downer or anything like that, a party pooper, but I just wanted to make sure everybody had accurate information and wasn't getting super excited for season two when it hasn't actually been confirmed yet. I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Like I said, I'm hoping season two happens at some point soon. I'm hoping volume 12 comes out so we can, you know, have five volumes to be able to potentially adapt into a season two. But you know, in the meantime, it hasn't been confirmed just yet. Hoping it happens at some point, but I wanted to kind of clear the air there in regards to that sort of news and stuff that's kind of been going around and stuff that's kind of inaccurate. But yeah, that's all I had for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing my volume eight here. Uh, congrats to everybody who ended up getting the volume and is enjoying the heck out of that read. Hope you all are enjoying it, like I said. Um, yeah, give the video a like if you guys can. Helps me out a ton. And comment down below what you guys think of the volume and what you guys are thinking of the light novel so far. Of course, don't spoil. Try to keep things some spoiler free there and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already to see more Buddy senpai content and hit that notification bell if you want to get notified for whenever i do upload a video hope you all have a good one thank you guys for watching bye bye